Good, make sure the microphone's working here. Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A decently quiet, if not somewhat chilly, evening in the Mid South as we have a lot of cold air rolling southward out of a behind a cold front and doing a very good job of keeping temperatures well below normal for this time of the year. We'll talk about what our almanac looks like in just a little bit when it comes to temperatures and rainfall, and also a little bit more about what it looks like going into the rest of the week and things for right now. Making certain I got the right program lined up. We're going to be seeing again some pretty chilly numbers for tonight. So at the bus stop tomorrow morning, you're definitely going to want to make certain that you got something on the kids that's going to ward off that chill as we get into the early morning hours of Monday. Where did the warm weather go? It is going to be back over the next couple of days, but it's going to take at least a day or so to get all that back our direction, especially around tax day for Tuesday. Things are looking much nicer there. We'll talk more about that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to the show. If you've never been here before, Again, this is our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, an opportunity for us to discuss with the viewers what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. We get about two to three minutes for a typical weathercast. Online, we can explain things a lot better. So if you have any questions about stuff going on in the Mid-South, we'll do our best to answer that. Drop your locations and your weather reports into the comments section. If you've got one of those weather stations, give us a high and low temperature report, rainfall from the last couple of days, temperature right now, wind speeds, whatever you got. Let's do some citizen science on this March for Science weekend 2018. That occurred yesterday, of course, but yesterday was Citizen Science Day, so good opportunity to kind of lead into that as well. Over the course of the next several hours, again, temperatures are already pretty chilly and are not going to be getting anywhere near warm anytime soon. So by early tomorrow morning in the metro area, we should be looking at temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 30s as we head into around daybreak right before News Channel 3's Todd Demers is on the air at this point in time. Uh, 43 in Gibson County. Kenneth Sims, thank you very much. 39.7 in Henderson. Celia Horton Lair, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Chili, Judy Brown, Dyer County, thank you very much for that one. Rockford, Illinois, snowing. Eddie Spain, thank you very much for that weather report from way up north from here. Didn't rain that much in Gibson County. Thank you very much. Ronnie Williams, Collierville, 44 degrees. Winds 1 to 7 miles per hour. Good range. Thank you very much. Perry Melio, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much for the kind words and everybody else for checking on through tonight. Brooke White Gray, uh, Savannah, Tennessee, 40 degrees. Wade Mitchell, when will it warm up and slow down in the rain? We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Heading into overnight again at the bus stop in the morning, the kids are going to need something to ward off that chill. Lower to mid 30s possible across the area, and those winds will drop the temperatures on the wind chills down into the lower 20s at times. So again, please make certain you've got the kids ready to go for the morning because standing outside in shirt sleeves, this is not going to be the morning for that. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Beautiful sunsets tonight. Managed to snap as many pictures as possible. We're posting those on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But if you've got pictures, Stay tuned. We'll show you where to send those coming up here in just a little bit. Mississippi River sunset, tow heading upstream, lights of West Memphis, Arkansas off in the distance, and some beautiful colors out there as I-40 traffic moves along pretty well. Southern tip of Mud Island just off of downtown Memphis. Beautiful view for tonight. And once again, this is going to be a great opportunity. If you've got a clear view tonight, that's great. But a lot of you still have a lot of cloud cover out there. So you may not have quite as good a view as we have in downtown Memphis for this evening. Likewise, from the Hilton East Memphis camera, downtown Memphis on the horizon here, Clark Towers, the Poplar and Mendenhall area, and looking down toward Poplar and 240 here. A little bit of cloud cover coming through, but at least a little bit of sunshine uh, into and around the area for tonight. Marilyn Ost Griganti, 41 degrees in Nesbitt. Thank you very much. 39 in Selmer, Tennessee. David Shirley Jernigan. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, thank you very much. Peg Watkins, bring the plants inside. Yeah, that probably would be a good idea for tonight, depending on your location out there. Krista Cox, Shelby Forrest. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Elvis Etheridge from Ripley, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. And Lavendrasha, Washington, 65 in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for joining us from the Metroplex down uh, 
in that direction. Thank you very much. Sharon Weiss Terry, 42 degrees in West Memphis. Again, right now, temperatures, when we say right now, we mean right now. This is live real time weather from the Weatherbug system. If you'd like to get this on your computer system, all you have to do is go to this website, wrag.com slash weather. Click on the Weatherbug icon. You get more details as to what's going on nearby. Wind chills already in the lower 30s this evening. We've had high temperatures only in the upper 40s today, thanks to that big, powerful bunch of cold air heading our direction down from the north. And that's going to be doing a pretty good job of keeping things chilly right on into tonight. Again, 42 feels like 38 in Banner. don't think I've ever been there uh, before. Thanks a lot for that one. Where did that name go? right there. Hang on just a second. Uh, Scott Jarvis, thank you very much. 42 degrees uh, with that wind chill in there. Dora, Alabama, Wayne Wells, Eddie Adier, hope I'm saying that right, from South Haven, Mississippi, and Sherry Green from Horn Lake, Mississippi. Thanks for joining us for tonight. National Weather Service issuing a freeze warning in effect for the county shaded in purple. Northeast Arkansas only looking back toward Cross and Poinsett counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area. No one else under a freeze warning at this time is Temperatures will be coldest here, but again, across the rest of the Mid-South, if you have plants outside that you want to protect, temperatures will be dropping to around freezing, not quite at freezing, but if you have plants you want to protect again tonight, probably a good idea. Bring them in or cover them up if you can, and please make certain that your pets have adequate protection if they are outdoor pets. Make sure that they have exactly what they need to be as warm and comfortable as possible out there for this evening. And that's what we're going to be looking at for tonight. That goes into effect at 3 o'clock in the morning and stays in effect until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning when the temperatures finally head back up once again. So looking at some pretty frosty conditions out there. What's left of some sprinkles into portions of the area? Very light in nature, and most of those tracking out of the Mid-South, very light speckles of rainfall. A lot of this because of the dry air down toward the surface, the rain dropping on down toward the surface, the dry air over that rips those molecules apart, and we don't see much of anything left over in the way of rainfall. But a little bit more concentrated as Storm Tracker 3S looks off into the distance, and that goes upwards into the atmosphere. The beam of the energy goes upwards away from the Earth's surface. So a few thousand feet up over northwest Alabama and Tishomingo County in Mississippi, we are seeing a little bit of some speckles of rainfall, but that is pretty much about it. Little, if anything, showing up any other time at this point, so not really seeing too much of a problem there. Rick Johnson, Fayetteville, North Carolina, under a tornado warning. Uh, excuse me, stay safe in that area. Thank you very much for reporting in, but uh, make sure your uh, lowest floor, whatever f uh, place you happen to be, and also, again, central part of whatever structure you're in. Again, just be safe out there for right now. Uh, Sue Johnson, cover the banana trees. Uh, depending on location, if you're in, again, northeast Arkansas or around the area, probably wouldn't be such a bad idea uh, at this point in time. Jack Bish, Basista Pangasinan. No idea where that is, but thank you very much for checking in. 99 degrees for a high. That's what we're heading for in the next several weeks, so that's, again, going to be pretty common into the next couple of days, uh, several days away from what it looks like. Not much left over. Again, looking back toward North Carolina as we just uh, had a check-in from uh, the storm systems going through there with some pretty heavy lines of thunderstorms right around Raleigh down to the east of Charlotte and making their way back out of the area there. What we had in the way of winter weather is mainly up over the Great Lakes for tonight and into around New England. Almost a foot of snow on top of everything else that's been coming down up and around the Great Lakes as all that moisture makes its way back on up into portions of Canada. Let me get rid of the satellite at least. That way you can see just the moisture out there and some pretty good amounts of cold air wrapping around the system, mixing in with that moisture and doing a very good job of keeping things cold and snowy well back up to the north of us. All right, numbers for the rest of the evening. And again, as we go into very early tomorrow morning, right about News Channel 3 daybreak, this is where we're going to see some pretty cool numbers tomorrow back in the lower 30s across much of the area. And through about News Channel 3 live at 9, some of those temperatures may hover back around freezing for a little bit. Picking up the kids from school, westerly winds may be a little breezy and temperatures tomorrow going back into the lower 50s or so. And heading towards tomorrow night, News Channel 3 at 10, chilly 
not quite as cold as what we're seeing for tonight, but definitely on the cool side as temperatures by tomorrow morning back into the lower to mid 40s. Now tomorrow, a little warmer than today, not by much. We barely managed to make our way out of the upper 40s for today, mid to upper 50s as we head into tomorrow. A little breezy out there and going to continue to be on the breezy side as we get into tax day on Tuesday. Could even see the possibility of maybe some wind advisories coming our direction uh, into and around the area, but doesn't really look like anything major amounts of problems at this time. Joe Giove, GOV, hope I'm saying that right. Bartlett need to cover plants. Uh, the metro area at this time doesn't look like we're going to be picking up too much in the way of frost, but once again, if you want to make certain those plants are covered over just to be on the safe side, probably wouldn't hurt just to be uh, careful out there for the time being. And again, uh, we're going to be watching for the possibility of that to be relatively widespread, but mostly focused over northeast Arkansas, those chances of frost for later on tonight. Staying on the warm side, another chance of showers, very light as we go toward Wednesday evening. And as we go into the next several days after that, including the 10-day forecast, next best chance of rainfall, it's really starting to ramp up right now. The latest forecast shows a better chance of showers and thunderstorms late Saturday into early Sunday. And this is a lot better chance than what we saw in the forecast just 48 hours ago. But once again, because this is several days away, this is going to change over the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as this chance of rainfall gets a little bit closer to us. The really good news, if you take a look at the blue boxes down here showing the percentage of precipitation, we don't have a lot going on. Saturday and Sunday, yes, and a minor chance on Wednesday evening. But beyond that, we actually dry out pretty well which is very good news at this time, considering we are about nine and a half inches above normal for rain for the year. So we could definitely turn off the spigot for a little bit out there, I think, with not too much of a major problem for right now. Uh, Kimberly Coleman school closings, none that I'm aware of here and none that have been called into the News Channel 3 Weather Center at this point in time. So good news on that for st students tomorrow. I believe TCAP is starting to go on for tomorrow. Good luck to everybody, uh, teachers, administrators, and kids alike. Get you, uh, yourself a good night's sleep and a decent hearty breakfast to make certain you're ready to go for tomorrow. Joyce Johnson Berry, Crenshaw, Mississippi, 45.2 degrees here and pretty breezy. can believe that. There's a lot of wind out there into the area. Don't forget about joining me for the forecast on Talkback Live tomorrow at 8 o'clock with Bob and Josh. You can dial them up on Twitter at Talkback Live, AM 730 on air, and online at Talkback Live Network. Org. And, of course, our own Todd Demers will have more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 4.30. And, of course, I'll have Weather Where the Troops Are coming up in just about maybe 20 minutes or so on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages. Our little salute to everybody on the home front and everybody serving overseas. If you'd like to see more about that, again, that'll be on my other social media pages coming up here within about the next 20 minutes or so. Questions about the forecast, again, scrolling at the bottom of your screen, all available here at wreg.com slash weather. And if you've got any pictures out there you've taken, please let them see, send them to me on social media or email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And we'd love to feature them on News Channel 3 social media. We don't have any pictures to share tonight. Nobody's been sending in any of them, so we can't really show much of anything else except what I've been taking. You can see those on my Instagram page and also on Twitter and Facebook throughout the rest of the evening. So again, if you have pictures, send them in. Otherwise, we can't show them and we'd love to show them on our netcast and on News Channel 3 at 10, News Channel 3 Daybreak, whenever we can fit those in. So please let us see what kind of photographic work you've been working on in the course of the last couple of days and whatever weather pictures you got, send them in and we'll see if we can feature them on air. Again, questions, concerns about the forecast, stay tuned for more. Kristen Holloway has all the details about news tonight at 10. Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports, including a look at the NBA playoffs and of course yours truly with weather that will be coming up tonight right after the Country Music Awards, so stay tuned for more on that with News Channel 3. Live and direct Sunday night from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online through the rest of the weekend.